Hello, and welcome to episode 51 of the Daybotcast. This is a weekly podcast where the three of us come together each week to talk about uh, K-pop and whatever's current. Uh, this week we'll be talking about the releases. No album reviews this week. Um, song reviews, though, so there's that. Um, I'd like to take a moment to please ask those of you who listen every week to review us on iTunes, please. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already, if you like our stuff. And yeah, leave a like also. Uh, we like to see like what people like. Um, check out our unboxings, vlogs, and the like. And anyways, as always, I'm joined by Nate. Can't nobody stop me now. No, try me. It's on me. <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought you were going to go to can't <laughs> gotcha nobody, now. can't nobody. Oh, that's that. Yeah, exactly. I also thought it was yeah, funny. You, you, you swerved us a bit. <laughs> All right. And Andrew usually has three things. Uh, Let's see. Uh, number one, I guess we'll just go with, uh, well, belated Merry Christmas to everyone. I said it in the last uh, podcast. Uh I, I believe we were all very happy with what we got on Christmas, especially Jacob. <laughs> yes. He has a whole new setup, basically. <laughs> Mr. Blue Yeti slash... Uh, God, what are your headphones again? Uh, HD 6 well, Didn't you buy those, though? Yeah, I bought wasn't. these, but and I did get a shit you, stack you to go with shit. it. Yep. Shit stack. <laughs> the, 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 the DAC. Like the, amp- like, like the amplifier. It's not, not like poop. <laughs> <laughs> you got his shit. Yep. Hey, anything good you got? Hmm? Uh, nah, just games and crap. <laughs> the usual. Seems hey, no, good to me. <laughs> you got a physical copy of, uh, of I Am Setsuna, so yeah, that was yeah, pretty that, cool. That's, con- that's contained under games and crap. <laughs> I guess, so, yeah. I, I guess my coolest one would be... I received the greatest album on the face of the universe... The Beyblade Battle. Oh god, it's backwards. My camera's backwards. Okay. Uh, no, the ba- it's fine. Battle soundtrack. The Beyblade, <laughs> the Battle soundtrack album, <laughs> which I will do a review of and Is put it up on Is it from the Instagram. anime? I think so. It's it's definitely from the anime or something. Because I mean, why else would they? I will do a review of the uh, five tracks on the album. I think there's yeah, there's five tracks on here, and I will give it like a score. So I'm already telling you, it's it's that's album of the year, hands down. <laughs> yep, truly Dave Bach Awards. <laughs> uh, number two, uh, my mind was blown today, bec- or yesterday, because I found a, there's this, a, a person on a- on the AVEX channel named Beverly. She's Filipino. She was singing Despacito in Japanese. In Japanese. <laughs> She's a Filipino person singing a Spanish song in Japanese. I was just like, how many layers more can we get into this? Although I will say it was good enough that I actually went and downloaded it. <laughs> yeah, no, it was pretty good. Yeah, like, I'm impressed. Like, apparently she, did, like, performed, like, songs for, I don't know, I think, like, Shinzo Abe, Trump, and uh, the guy that keeps killing people. Uh Philippine president. Oh, that uh, guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> she performed in the Philippines or something, and I don't know if she was famous before. Uh, yeah, she think she was famous before that, but then she performed for all those presidents, and then now she's a J-pop star. I don't know why she picked J-pop as opposed to K-pop, but I mean, okay, like still, it's pretty crazy. Just like <laughs> Japanese Krisha Chu. <laughs> yeah, she really is Japanese Krisha Chu. So uh, that's insane. Hopefully, she does well. Um, she seems to be well received in Japan anyway. And also, finally. This is the first episode of the new year. So, like, 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 if you're watching this in the future, this is 2018. So, like, happy new year. I'm going to celebrate by opening this um, non-alcoholic <laughs> bottle of apple cider. So, happy new year. Like, it looks like a can opener. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is a can opener with a, oh, with a bottle opener attached. <laughs> that's all. That's my entire spiel. You can go ahead. All right. So, uh, with that, I guess, uh, since it's releases week, we can get into the, uh, the first topic, aka first out. section. Oh, yeah, actually, that's right. You that's literally right. picked one out as yeah. the first shot. Yeah, Cheers, okay, guys. okay. I also <laughs> forgot to say who I am, even though they can read. That's um, true. I'm Jacob, and here's your weekly blown out that I keep forgetting to do. <laughs> okay. Someone up there must be speeding up time. Just enough for no one to notice. Time goes at one second per second. Yeah, but it seems like it goes faster the older you get. That's that's the whole point. Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. So, uh, <laughs> uh, breaking news: sided Gashina and single ladies at a concert in a very revealing outfit. Yeah, I oh saw that. God. I saw that. Cooper on... sent a, posted a fan cam in our chat. Um. Yeah. Uh, Leah Kim. Watch this after. Leah Kim was like posted like a video of her, of her at the Psy concert. So I, I saw that. That's crazy. Though that's very Psy. <laughs> That's very sad. He was doing the choreography and everything, I think, so... Oh, my goodness. He knows how to do it. He's good, so... I have Indeedly to have to, do. I'll have to check that out later. All right, releases. <clears throat> okay, releases. Starting on the 1st of December, because we got to finish on the end of November. Um, We have Black Nine's digital single, play, or Payback, not Playback, <laughs> which I want to <laughs> read it as Playback every time. Payback featuring BB... And apparently it's for the Korean version of American Assassin, <laughs> supposedly. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that, that that kind of threw me off too. Why are they making? Why are they making a Korean? It's version? probably just for the credits. Yeah, I guess it's just let's promote let's promote a movie called American Assassin. What better way to promote <laughs> it than by doing a song in Korean? <laughs> well, uh, judging by the Hangul on the like album art, it looks like it's just called Assassin in Korea. Oh, okay, yeah, because it doesn't make any sense to call it American Assassin, I guess. Yeah, it's so. just called Assassin. The beginning. Oh, <laughs> it's always. I noticed that American wasn't there. I was confused. Yeah, it's always interesting how they change titles for um, like releasing movies in other countries. That's mm-hmm. it. that's a very common thing, like how I don't know, or like games or like that sort of thing. Like stuff gets changed around. Yeah, I uh, like actually. I thought the song was pretty decent. Um, it was we've pretty cool. seen Black Nine before, haven't we? I don't remember. I like the name sounds familiar, but yeah. Anyways, I, uh, I thought it was before. decent. It was pretty good for yeah. a group I've never heard of before. So yeah, I'll keep an eye out for that. Must be like some type of rapper though. Yeah. yeah, I never heard of that. Oh, I, I thought maybe it was like a, a group or something. It just did hip-hop. Maybe, I, don't, I don't, know. don't even know. I have no idea. it's just a feature. Yeah. yeah. Whoever they are, I'll check them out. Yep, I had never heard of them either. Uh, moving on to the Barbarettes mini album, The Barbarettes Winter, with the title track White Blanket featuring GB9, which is a Barbarettes Christmas album, clearly. Yep. I love this entire album so much. I love the Barbarettes Christmas stuff. This is perfect. <laughs> They're the perfect group to do Christmas songs. I mean, uh, that's kind of the Barbarettes thing is like uh, this sort of like festive type of stuff. Like, you know, they always do the harmonies and the vocals and, you know, they always bring it. So, yeah, definitely. Nate? Um, yeah, I don't know. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't have a ton to say about it, so. It's yeah. Christmas music. It's the Barbarettes. What else? I love it. Like, it's it's amazing because like they it's Barbarettes featuring like a bunch of other people. So it's they just get to play off of other voices, which is really nice. Like they yeah. get to yeah. harmonize with a bunch of other people. So yeah, yeah. I thought this was excellent. Yeah, for me, for me, the music for me, the, cute. yeah, for me this month, uh, just because there's so much Christmas music, I just stopped marking a lot of the Christmas yeah. songs. I, I just don't like Christmas, Christmas music that much. So <laughs> I don't like Christmas music that much. So. It was, uh, it was, I mean, it's not bad, but it's just Christmas music. Yeah, it's um, like, it's a ballad. <laughs> exactly, that's literally, and most of Christmas music is ballads, which yeah. is like, okay, well, now we got both going on. Um, next Speaking is Becca Ayan and Wendy's uh, station single, The Little Match Girl. Now, this is a Christmas ballad as well. Yes, I really, Wendy really, really like this one. Becca Ayan. So. Yeah. <clears throat> You know their their uh, their voices are perfect for each other. Like Big Ion, she won like third place on K-pop Star uh, season one against Lehigh and Park Jimin, uh, Jamie. So like those like you can tell how like good her voice is to begin with. And on the top of that, Wendy's already, in my opinion, one of the best um, yeah ballad vocals. singers in the new generation. Like mm-hmm. it's a really really good match and it's a really really good song. So definitely check yep. it out. Indeed. You don't get, like, duo <clears throat> female singers very often. For it's usually, like, guy girl, yeah. so. guy guy. I really wish we would, though, because I love, I love the way they played off each other in the song. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. Guys, remember, like, I mean, kind of spoilers, but we, we already got Solar in an SM station, so why can't Solar get a duet with one? Like, imagine Solar and Wendy doing it. I mean... Like, 
Yeah, that'd be we cool. We didn't get a st- serious, actual Solar song, though. But yeah. No, the, the seeds aren't even planted. I need someone from Mamamoo doing a uh, a duet, like a ballad duet for, with someone from Red Velvet. Like, make it happen, I mean, SM. We also had Momo in a, in a music video as well. It's just the power of Heekshaw that's making yeah, power this happen. Yeah, <laughs> it's always Heekshaw. <laughs> we'll get there, though. Exactly. Yep. Uh, anything else? Oh, Andrew, you didn't have this marked. Okay. Uh, next is Lee Hyun from Hum. Um, uh, did a digital single, um, Your Lips. Uh, then we have A Mess. Oh my god, uh, this by is Rain. so weird. <laughs> Rain's mini album, My Life, with the title track, Gang. And it's Rain <laughs> trying to be insanely hardcore hip-hop, and it just doesn't work at all. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, the vocal, the vocal like, R and, the R&B parts were good, but, like, the, yeah. like why well, are you yeah, rapping, Yeah, the parts Rain? where he's actually doing what he normally does and does well. <laughs> oh, God. Him but then the hip-hop just, stuff, just... It makes me feel weird. <laughs> and then he's, like, trying to be all, like, it's, like, all the clothes and everything just doesn't fit. Like, Rain's, yeah. like, such a nice, like, fun guy. Squeaky and clean, then, yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, he's trying to be all hardcore. It just... Yeah, it, it, it was a mess. It's not really, like, good. Or, I mean, it's it's, it's not, <laughs> it's not, not bad. bad. It's just, like... Yeah. No, it just, it's, it's just just weird. It, yeah, it, it kind of seems try-hard, especially for someone as talented as Rain. Like, it doesn't need to do this. Yeah, right after doing a proposal song. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. I'm just... <laughs> like the... <laughs> Oh no! You already ruined your new microphone. Oh, my pop filter came off. Oh okay, but yeah, the outfits are kind of try hard. I mean, I mean, I guess that's just kind of like Rain in general. A lot of his outfits are kind of try hard. But I mean, like the like the parts of the chorus where he's actually singing is okay. That's bearable. But like the the sort of like trap EDM rapping style, I'm just like nah. That's not what I think of when I think of Rain. So. Mm Hmm. Yeah, it was just, it was weird. It didn't weird. fit at all. Uh, and finally, we have Standing Egg. Uh, full-length album, dramatic title track, From the Star. Next, on the fourth, we have Yoo-Hoo. Debut digital single, Yoo-Hoo. Title track, Yoo-Hoo. <laughs> it's, uh, it's so hard to find. I had to find, like, some random fan cam because, like, the every... Oh, every, yeah, is this the one that was literally just a fan cam? Yeah, because every video okay. of this got, like, nuked from so the confused. internet for whatever reason. I couldn't I find know. it on, like, Melon or Naver or anything else. Well, it doesn't help that the... It's impossible. Like, the name is just dumb and hard yeah, to Yeah, I Yoohoo! Every time I kept looking for Yoohoo, I kept getting another song. The drink? Do you get the drink? No, 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 no. I kept saying Yoohoo K-pop, and it goes like some other song. Oh, there, oh Secret has a, you, a yeah, song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it, was, it was messing me up when yeah. trying to look for this, but... Oh, yeah, I forgot Secret has a Yoohoo song. Yeah, that's like... That's definitely gonna get found before. Whatever. It, was, it wasn't it was noteworthy anyway. Uh, then we have Han Dong-gun, mini album Broken People, title track Undoable. Uh, then we have Hyuna with a single album lip and hip with the title track of the same name and this is my favorite hyuna stuff this year which isn't saying much at all um i still don't really like the chorus but i like the song a lot better than Bebe. i kind yeah, of like i, I still like Bay better to be completely honest I, I like Lip and Hip better. I think I didn't like it at first, but I think it's because of the music video. I really don't like the music video. Oh, yeah, the music like, video is not like, good either. I, get, I think this is my thing with Yana. I don't know about you guys, but like, I get that she's trying to be, oh, I'm breaking ground and being sexy, but sometimes it comes <laughs> off as really trashy. So. Well, yeah. And it's not breaking ground with her. She's been doing it for five years. Yeah, so I guess it's, yeah. just, it's, it's, it, 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 it's just stale at this point. Getting old, yeah. Yeah, it's and just. And she's. She's done it better before. So yeah, like, like yeah. red was great. And Anything Roll with Deep. troublemaker. Roll deep is insanely good. Yeah, troublemaker <sighs> stuff. Like and she just like fell off a cliff this year, and I don't know what happened. It's, like her I, singles were not great. Andrew won't agree with it, but Triple H was trash. And like no, I, th- I didn't. I thought Triple H was, I guess, okay. I guess. Yeah, it, it, no, it, I, it, I, I really was Jacob disappointed hated with Triple it. H. I think it's because um, I think it's because I was expecting at least trouble. Well, yeah, trouble exactly. Like, yeah, it, it's, it's never gonna live up to the troublemaker. That's the problem well, going for it. And it's because because I, I well, love all they of their could. They just they need to get production. a good song. And mm-hmm. I mean, for 
Christ's sake, they they did energetic or like uh like the the two Pentagon members who you need on but like did. Yeah. Um. So yeah, they're they're clearly better. Yeah, like Ener- energetic for, was a great song. Like and then, groups. And then three six five fresh was horrible <laughs> for me. I guess I, don't yeah. know, I just felt yeah. rip off. But yeah, I like guess. yeah, with I guess with this, it's just yeah, and like I, I kind of just wish Chana would. I know Chana's shown like more creativity, especially during like the choruses of her songs, and like this mm-hmm. entire song is just like hip, lip, hip. I'm just like I want to turn it off immediately. I know it's because it's just like yeah, because it's just in her like her normal voice, I guess, and then it sucks because like you hear the dichotomy between her rapping voice and like or like her like. Oh, high pitched voice, and then her actually like yeah. normally singing, and I'm just like, whoa! I forgot Yana's actually capable of doing that. So it, here's the thing about yeah. this song is like, I I really like the verses and like her singing and the rapping, yeah, but exactly. then the chorus the chorus is yeah. actually chorus the weak part. So true. I think the yeah, the chorus completely kills it for me because yeah, if if it was a different, it was a little more interesting chorus, I probably would have liked it because yeah, the, yeah, because yeah. Yana is showing off her singing ability in a lead single. It's that, not that we don't get that too often, but yeah. the MV at least was kind of interesting. Like b- besides the the trashy like nature of it. <laughs> well, I the but parts that Donald. I don't like in the the parts that I don't like in the MV are the parts where she has like like random pieces of food that like come out of her mouth and stuff. I hate that. That like that's, <laughs> that's just a me thing. Like that really grosses me out. Oh, <laughs> you don't like. like it. I don't want to. I don't want like to see that in videos. <laughs> Even yeah, if it's Yana, yeah. even if you wouldn't, you, you're telling me you wouldn't eat fries from Butt Donald's out of Yana's mouth. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, I just don't want to see stray food at all. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's weird. I don't know. Yana fell off a cliff for me this I year. Think she, I, I, I think she, I think she needs a change of, per, of production team. That, 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 right, that, that's my personal opinion. Prediction for 2018. She'll get a better. She'll get a better song She'll in 2018. Get better. She, I mean, <laughs> the, the bar is not. It's, the bar is pretty low. It, yeah, and then yeah. I say that as someone that loves Yana's music for the most part, but yeah, I think I think she did do her well to change up her production team because it it it, it, def, it definitely is getting stale at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next is Zion T and Even Say uh, digital single Snow. Andrew wants to talk about. God, this music video is just direct. <laughs> like the story is pretty sad. I mean, that's that's just Zion. Like everyone, um, I saw on Reddit comments. It's basically like kind of like Young Law Bridge 2.0 in a mm-hmm. way. There's like a very yeah. emotional piano ballad type of thing. Um, and yeah. I love Zion. Yeah, I, lo- I love Zion T's uh, singing ability as well. But yeah, I, I feel like the music video is so well done too. It's just like this guy. He literally just shows up at a hotel with like a bag, a pile of cash, and just re- like uh. He like stays at like the the penthouse of this expensive hotel or something like that, and then he has like the jacket of like I think like a, I don't know if it's exactly like a long lost lover or somebody that died or somebody that broke up with him or whatever. But he's like spending his anniversary with them, and then she becomes real at the end. But then he wakes up <laughs> and she's not there, so I was just like, oh fuck. <laughs> I was just like, damn you, Zion T. <laughs> damn you, Zion T. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. It's it's a very well done song. I don't know if it's necessarily a Christmas song or whatever, but it's it's, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. Like on that line, it's weird. Yeah, I mean that, that's INT specialty. Could be Christmas. Just like Just emo a sad ass ballad. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, next on the fifth, we have uh, Jarim's digital single XOXO. We have Junkie's digital single. Oh. Digital single Cherish, but then two different songs not named Cherish. Uh, we have First Love featuring uh, Yuju from G Friend, and Only You featuring Yu Sim Goon. And then we have South Club's digital single Who's This Song For? And we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. We'll never know. know. Because <laughs> the world it wasn't no never word. know. Uh, next on the sixth, we have Block B's Japanese mini album montage with the title track Shall We Dance, which we couldn't find. Uh, cause Japan blocks everything. Everywhere. But I mean, it's, yeah, it's a <sighs> Japanese version of a song we already listened to, so yeah, we're yeah, not yeah. missing much. That'll also be uh, a topic soon. <laughs> Japan yes. blocking everything. <laughs> uh, we have BTS's, uh, Japanese single album with, apparently it's just Mike Drop DNA and Crystal Snow. Uh, Crystal Snow, I believe, is a... Track. Mike's- Crystal ahead. Snow's an original track, I believe, for J- Japan, cause I'm obviously, like, <laughs> Mike Drop and DNA. Yeah, from <laughs> DNA. Or from, uh... Love yourself. Yeah. Love yourself. Um, yeah, and they used Mike Drop as a single, so they just took the 
MV. It's pretty much the same MV. As, like, <laughs> it's weird. They basically, it's literally like they took out. It's it's the mic drop remix MV, but it's the regular version. They took MV. out Steve. <laughs> they took out Steve Aoki. <laughs> Poor Steve Aoki. Oh. Uh, and then uh, we have Super Junior's Japanese single on and on. So on the sixth, we have Day Six full length uh, full length album Moonrise with the title track I Like You. Uh, so this is the last Every Day Six song. I thought it was amazing a great finish. Rock yep, ballad. strong, strong finish. And it's at the same stairs. It's at the same stairs as the it's always at the stairs. Is that wait, is that just not into the new world? Or is it, what else was at the stairs? I well, oh, wait, I, I, I know I've seen stuff. it. No, I know I've seen it in other MVs from yeah, other yeah, artists, definitely. but I know it as the the stairs that Hyoyeon danced yeah. on in yeah. Into the yeah, New that's World. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I know it best as. But that's another yeah. that's a uh, that's a, like a K-pop landmark that we have to visit one day when we're in Korea. We have to do a video on yeah. that. The stairs. Sure. <laughs> I'll just call it the stairs. Mm. <laughs> on another note, Moonrise was amazing. I I don't know if I like it more than Sunrise. I think I still like Sunrise more though. So yeah. they threw us off. Thought it'd be. Sunset. Oh yeah, we thought it'd be sunset, but it's moonrise. But it's moonrise, which is more <laughs> optimistic. Yeah, um, yeah. I haven't listened to it yet. I I need to listen to all the B sides. Yeah, same, same, same. Oh, they're same. good. Or, like, I need someone. On that. And is really I need, good. I need them to release a like double pack album so I could buy it. Oh, I'm just gonna oh, buy yeah. it anyway. I don't, I already have the first one, but um, at just the call end it of this rise video, or something. It, it, well, they Earth, call it every Earth day. Rise. Every yeah. day. At it's the end Earth of this rise. video, it <laughs> says it says the show must go on in Korean. So, I doubt they'll do this again next year and kill them. But I mean, they'll probably no, be all music. Won't. Yeah, yeah, they'll have something. But <laughs> yeah, uh, there's no way they do every day six. Because again, no, there's no but way. Maybe this is getting no, ahead of myself, but interpret like we'll do predictions or something like next week. But don't be surprised if JYP does this with other groups. Don't be surprised. Like, mm. like Place every twice. Place day every- twice. <laughs> It literally is two songs every day. <laughs> we get seven hundred songs from twice. Yeah. Times two. Yeah, seven hundred songs from twice next year. <laughs> yeah. I'd kill them. Um, <clears throat> um, not if they started recording since debut. Maybe they've been recording songs constantly since they debuted for this. Every day uh, twice. <laughs> every day twice. Um, uh. Okay, next is Mighty Mouth with the digital single Instagram. Um, so if you don't know Mighty Mouth, they're just like ridiculous like duo that does like fun raps and like just silly songs. And that's what this is. It's Got- a silly, catchy rap song with a weird MV. Gotta find a list of all the Instagrams they use in this video. <laughs> yeah, they use, it's just a bunch of like hot Yo, Korean girls Instagrams like, like I wish- that they talk about. I wish I was famous enough to be like, I'm gonna put random Instagram thotties in my music video. <laughs> and yeah, probably, like, I'm sure they asked. Them yeah, probably. I'm sure they're like, "Hey, we're two famous like hip, Korean hip hop artists. You're a hot girl. You want to be want to have our in, your because in, I mean, all because most of these people, I'm sure most of these people, because they, they 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 know how Instagram works. Like Instagram is like a business nowadays. Like we're basically yep. like, if you're a hot oh, girl, literally is. You do if ads you're a hot stuff. girl and like you like you all have to do is like marketing campaigns and shit of like I don't know like bikinis or like some type of like modeling or whatever like mm-hmm. like you're set for life you don't have to work basically <laughs> like there's a lot of people that make a living like just this, stay so. pretty <laughs> yeah just stay pretty that's all you have to, you, you got to capitalize on it while, while, while you're caught i guess so <laughs> i didn't enjoy this song in comparison to the other songs that you showed me oh no yeah it's not as good but yeah, um, yeah the auto-tune was a bit too much it's still just silly yep. silly mighty mouth stuff yeah, if you really like their stuff, uh, look up Talk Talk, uh, and I can't remember the name of the other song. Uh, shit. Oh, it's uh, Napu Nom, uh, which is, like, uh, something bad. Like, I'm bad, or something like that. I don't know. Just look up my email featuring Soya, S-O-Y-A, that song. It's good. Who I think Soya is, uh, uh, it's, uh, Kim Jong Kook's, uh, niece. What? Really? Yeah, because they were <laughs> in one of his MVs later on because she was featured. In, oh, uh, yeah. They, she features in a couple of their songs. Interesting. Um, next is Sohee from Elris and Kim Sung Goon. 
Give me more hours already. From JBJ. Uh, digital single Child Luck. Childlike, produced by <laughs> Lee Min Hyuk from B2B. Yep. And this is very much Elris Sohi and not, yes. <laughs> not Spotlight Sohi. Yeah, we're right. not going to get Spotlight Sohi for a while, but I still like this. Oh, yeah. I'm you obviously going to like choices. this. Give me more Elris or give me more Sohi. Give me one of the two soon. <laughs> I don't mind it. It, it. We'll probably get Elris pretty soon. Yeah, I, I really want some more It's been a while Elris. since. Pop I out. love it. Love is Volcano. <laughs> That's what that should have been the name of the song. Yeah, that should have been the title because it, it ruined it. It really should have. But I mean, obviously, I was gonna like this song because one, it's so he, my other bias, and two, it's Kim Song Yin, who's a produce one hundred and one boy. Produce so, one hundred and one, yeah. And also in JBJ, so it's funny how they're crediting him as from uh, JBJ as opposed to Top Dog now because Top Dog's kind of, <laughs> or he, I, I guess it's just like. Oh, kinda, nobody really knows Top Dog. Yeah, it's kinda like, that's a thing. Yeah, it's kind of like they say, like, Nana from Orange Caramel instead of yeah, after school. Yeah, they say Orange Caramel instead of after school, so I'm just or like, everyone oh. knows everyone knows Chaeyoung from IOI instead of Daya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops. Or pretty much anyone from IOI. Like, even, yeah. even like, uh, I don't know, like, Mina and Sejong get, yeah. you're from IOI, not Gugu Dan. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, this was good. Yeah, uh, like, it's it was like, cute. Like really cutie, like pop Christmas pop song. Yep. Um. Yep. Uh, and next is the boys. The boys. Boy, boy, the boys, <laughs> boy, boy. You're my boy, boy. Uh, it's the boys debut mini album, the first with the title track of "Boy," and hey. this is actually a really good song. Yeah, I, like, I really like this, this song because you know, uh. um again, and speaking of Bruce One Hundred One, it's uh do. You, H A K N Y E O N. I don't know. I forget how to pronounce that. H. Wait, what? H A K N Y E O N. Hakyon. Something like that. Hakyon. Yeah. Hakyon. He finished 19th. So he's he's very. They got like 6.1 mil last I checked on One the K on this video. So. Yeah. So it's 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 he went back to Cracker Entertainment. They made a boy group out of it. But holy crap. There's the problem is members. there's their name, not like not their production oh, or anything. The like they have good the music boys. video, terrible, good song. The boys, name. boy, boy, my the boy. Yeah, it's just the album, boy, the boy, the boy, the song, the boy, the boy. Two. yeah. <laughs> their names are they don't have stage names. It's just boy one, boy two, boy three. Uh, <laughs> it is a really bad name, but yeah. the song, is, if you give it a shot, is actually pretty good. Yeah, no, it, 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 and okay. Speaking of the other, like, there's twelve members in the group. One of them, Kevin, was on K-pop Star Six. Sun Woo was on High School Rapper, so there's a lot of pedigree coming in this group, so it, no wonder they're pretty popular. And the, the song itself yeah. is pretty good, especially the choreography, which you have to expect something decent out of yep. somebody that finished that high on produce and that sort of thing. So, yeah, it, it was a very very well done song, and I, I, I mm-hmm. don't really know what Cracker Entertainment has done necessarily before, but it it, it definitely seems like like they're going they're putting all their chips on in on this one basically just because. Wait, they, what's they, it? Called? It's called Cracker Entertainment. Yeah, it's K R E. K E R or something. Yeah, C-R-E-K, cracker. Yeah. cracker. That's, That's how they pronounce it on Produce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, they they they're probably gonna ride the Produce train for as long as they can. Like all these all yeah. these companies are gonna because they know they have a built-in fan base basically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Apparently, their pre-debut name was Crackers. It's like it's like, oh, it's like Pledis Girls. They yeah. literally mailed Pledis Girls. But they, they just added a crackers. Z to the name oh, of God. Uh, they probably did the not group. know what that meant. And then they became the boys. So oh, at least the boys is better than crackers, I guess. Well, yeah. But yeah, it, it's, oh, goodness. it's decent. Um, okay, we will move on to the seventh. We have DPR Lives mini album Her, the title track Martini Blue. Her uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Not that song. Yep. Uh, Andrew, you want to talk Martini about it? Blue. Not necessarily my favorite Deep Air Life song, but the entire album itself is dope. I wish we we were gonna review it, but stuff came around. But I'm just in, I'm always just impressed that like the the sheer like expense it looks like his, it takes for his music videos. Because when you consider that DPR is ne- like they have no other artists, so I don't know where they're getting this yes, money from. Dream, D- DPR <laughs> yeah. is literally just live. Yeah, yeah. I think the only reason they put DPR live is because it's impossible to search him as just live. Yeah, because D- like, yeah. Yeah, I thought his name was live originally because I thought I saw like Dream Perfect Regime was like the YouTube channel. Well, but. that is that actually is his name. It's just live. Like yeah, on DPR uh, live. come to you live. On, yeah. Well, it's just live. Like, if you look at Ung, Ung Freestyle, it just is live. Yeah. Mm. 
I forget. I always forget that he's on Ung Freestyle because that's where I first heard of. Yeah, that's where I first heard of him as well. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. Uh, again, that's Ung Freestyle. I guess like it, it's very much his like, like compatriots in a way because like, he, it's him, like Punchinello, like a bunch of other people, yep. like. Sick I, yeah, so getting back to the song, it's very much what I like it, like the style of hip hop, very electronic beats, much like Fuchello. So yeah, it's, it's yep. He, he he's very well he's very well versed in. I I didn't necessarily. I think we could put him on. We could put him on the like the the freshman list, right? Because I mean, he technically did Probably, make his yeah. debut. I mean, he made songs in like 2015, 2016, but his debut, quote unquote, was this year. So, well, yeah, I think he was still underground back then. So, or he was releasing singles, but he didn't make his official debut till recently, till this year. So. Yeah, yeah, he, he's. He, I love all. I love most of his music, though. It's very well done. Mhm. Mhm. Um. Next we oh and one thing you said we uh, stuff came up so we didn't review them. Uh, you chose Dumbfound Dead over that because so I feel like Dumbfound Dead was <laughs> still important. I know, it's gar- I know it was music. garbage, but I know I know it was still it was it's just funny. Look at the girl. Um, <laughs> next is uh, Got Seven's uh, repackaged Seven for Seven Present Edition with the title track Teenager. Um, I really like the song. It's giving yeah. me like old school guy group vibes. Yeah, Young Jay and uh, JB had really good vocals in the song. I enjoyed them a lot. Actually, I, love, I think I love the instrumentals most on this. It's like a future based R and B type of thing, which is my sort of which is my jam. And also, I like it. very different. I haven't had a chance to listen to the entire album, so I don't know. Maybe this is the entire album necessarily, but very mm-hmm. different, very different sound wise from uh, the Flight Log series of albums. So yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's a new direction for them, but it. Surprisingly, it works well. Yeah, not too, mm. not too many like art. There, there's an. I guess there's enough like hip hop, straight up hip hop sort of groups, but we need more. We definitely need more of these R and B style. Um, songs what this? From uh, groups. Yeah, what the song reminded me actually of was uh, of Niga Hamyun, which is if you do. I always call it the Korean name because that's what they say throughout the entire song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. I, re- I like the uh, the music video. It's, it's really simple. Like, it's yeah. just one set. Yeah, but it's, just a por- it's, 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 a cor- nice. it's a performance video. I think this is a B-side yeah. on the original album, and then they just, when they did the repackage, they made a video, mm-hmm. they released a video for it, so. Yeah. 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 It's well like done, it. though. It's well, cool. very well done. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it is JYP, though. They've been on a roll this year, so. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yep. Uh, we have Kim dong Wan from Xinhua's digital single, uh, The Reason the Earth is Pretty. Uh, and <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Sidetrack, sidetrack. Do you know about the Earth? Like, there is like fan art going around of somebody made the Earth into an anime girl yeah, yeah, called so. Earth Child. Dumb. <laughs> so dumb. And she has like a, she has like a like a Earth Chan. Uh, she has like a SARS mask or something because we're killing oh, the God. Earth. She's adorable. Though. I love the fan art. We aren't killing oh, the goodness. Earth. The Earth is killing us. I guess. Um, <laughs> Political but statement. the Earth will be fine. We will yeah, save Earth Chan. Recycle, or else you'll make Earth Chan cry. <laughs> um, and then next we have a memorial album for U J Ha. Uh, Thirty years forever as we are. Uh, and they used for the title track. They used a cover of "Because I Love You" by Susie, wow. which is like a jazzy ballad, and it's amazing. Hey. Okay. Yeah, basically. amazingly, amazingly, <laughs> well done. Susie's voice is always amazing. Yeah, on whatever people it always is. forget that she can actually sing really well. Well, because she, yeah. like, yeah. she's the she's the visual of the group and yeah. does a bunch of acting and stuff. But they forget yeah. that her she's like insanely talented. Yeah, because and and remember, a lot of her songs are just like very like different style of music, and so you don't. Well, really yeah, yes, no, maybe it was amazing. Yeah, maybe yes, no, maybe yeah. was dope. So yeah, you just forget. Oh shoot, she can do ballads too. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, uh, this is I guess this is the first time it, we're big doing a show since it's been announced, but officially, <laughs> Rip Miss A. Damn All right. <laughs> not that that surprised anyone. Yeah, not that yeah. surprising. I put them on my they list. Were, I put them on the list like six months ago. <laughs> half of their group uh, left JYP. JYP needs to put out his new girl group. Come on, man. Surprisingly, Faye resigned. You just want Sobe to debut already. <laughs> I was, of course. Yeah, just make a new girl group with Suzy Faye. Just make Miss A2 and add... <laughs> add 
<laughs> yeah. And Susie Faye. She's not old enough. So he and a couple like well, I, I mean, other trainees. Was, I, I think Susie was like 15 during Bad Girl. Yeah, Good Susie, Girl. yeah, yeah Susie that's was true. like 15 or 16 when they she debuted. Um, yeah. Now the premise of the first annual Awari Award is this award goes to um, a group that excel in. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> 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 Groups are artists. Or assholes who rap about underage girls. Yeah, so yes. the and or people that we just really want